Hi, my name is Sydney Jordan. I'm Finna Meller. And this is This Week in Colorado Volleyball. Today we're going to be talking about our last three games versus UCF, Arizona, and ASU. And then our upcoming two matches against West Virginia and BYU. And then we're going to sit down and get to know Annie Rising just a little bit better. So our first off, our game against UCF, I mean, that was a wild reschedule. I mean, we were supposed to play on Wednesday. Yeah. We ultimately ended up playing on Sunday because of Hurricane Milton. Um, I think we're lucky that we were able to get out there yeah. and able to still play that match. Um, but, I mean, yeah, that game we had a different lineup. We had to be really gritty as a team, I think. And it shows a lot about us as a team that we were able to win on the road after such an insane week of, like, so much turmoil. Like, we didn't really know what was going on. Like, what did you see from us in that game? Yeah, I agree with all that. I just think it kind of came down to, like, who was going to push that last fifth set. It was like we got it all tied up, and it was just like it was time to go. So I just think it kind of showed that we were ready to play, and it wasn't our prettiest match, definitely, but um, I just think we came out ahead because we kind of pushed right at the end there. Yeah, I'm proud of us. I think that was a really good win for us as a team. We needed that one, and yeah. it felt so good. That yeah. one felt so yeah. good. <laughs> Um, and then moving on, we also had a five-set win against Arizona, and I think that was a really good win for us as well. I mean, Arizona is a very good team with very good players, um, and they made that match tough on us too. I mean, how about what did you see from them? Yeah, I really think, I mean, they have a really strong hitting front row, so I think it was kind of getting our hands over quick and then also realizing, like, they're going to get kills, but if we just answer um, with some tough serving and good passing – It'll, it'll all work out. And so I just think um, kind of that fifth set got so close and it like the, the noise in the gym got kind of crazy, but I just think it was like we settled down, we focused, we didn't like get too hyped on one point. And I think it was, I think it was a great win. Yeah, it was also crazy because there was a call on the fifth set that we weren't able to challenge because their system was broken. And I think that that made us pretty angry as a team yeah. and it gave us some extra motivation. Like that's never happened before. I think ever where yeah. we haven't been able to challenge no, a call. Yeah. So really happy we won that one for, for a lot of those reasons. So, yeah. um, and then lastly, our game against ASU, I think that that was a tough one for us. I think being on the road, it was our third road game, um, in a long stretch of road games. Um, we just couldn't, couldn't figure some things out in that game, but, um, Ultimately, I think there's a lot to look look forward to. I think we get to play them again, yeah, which is good. Yep. yep. So, yeah, only agree. positives from here. And we have some shout-outs to give, starting off with Sarah Arlevero. She got her 1,000th career dig against Arizona. So that is a huge milestone and so proud of her. And another shout-out to Taylor Simpson. She had a double-double versus Arizona. She had 52 assists and 13 digs. So go Taylor as well. And then got a shout out my girl Sid. Um, she had two double doubles on our road trip. The first one was against UCF with 18 kills and 15 digs. And then at Arizona with 16 kills and 16 digs. Way to go. Thanks, Ken. And then Lily Dwynell, our opposite, she had 20 kills versus Arizona, which is a new career high for her. So go Lil. And our last shout out goes to Bella. She hit 714 in our match against UCF. That is a crazy high hitting percentage. Way to go, girl. We play West Virginia this Wednesday, and this is the first time we're going to face the Mountaineers as a program uh, in our in total. So it'll be um, really great to see a different team. That's always fun. I think um, our preparation will be really good. It's going to be nice that we're here at home. It's been a while, so I just think getting to kind of prep in our own gym is great. What about you, Sid? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to play them. I think it's um, another good opportunity for us. Every game's an opportunity for us. And, uh, and yeah, honestly, it'll be great to be home. Yeah. We have been gone for a long time, guys. <laughs> it's, it's, hard, uh, it's hard being on the road sometimes. But, you know, it always makes it easier when you walk away with some road dubs. Yeah. So. <laughs> And then on Friday, we play um, 24th ranked BYU. And this is actually the first time this season that we play a team for the second time. So I guess it's kind of like our second round of Big 12 is somewhat starting up. Yep. Um, and uh, I think that we have a lot of opportunities from that last, last time we played BYU. There were so many things that we left on the table. This is a team that we truly believe that we can beat. And I think that we're all really motivated for this game, too, to come away one and one with the series with BYU. I think that... We fully have the capability to do it as a team, and I'm really excited to play them. Yeah, I would agree. I think it's going to be really great that we have uh, really current film on them with ourselves playing them. And, again, it's at home, so it's going to be a whole different um, vibe. And then also just uh, kind of getting a – like kind of getting our chance back. I think we left a lot on the table 
uh, made more errors than normal in some uh, spots. So I think cleaning up our game against them and having our home crowd is just going to be great. Oh, it'll be great. I'm really excited. Yeah. So for our game versus West Virginia on Wednesday, it is our pink out game. So make sure to come and wear your pink and there will also be discounted concessions. So get your snacks in, put your pink on and come on out on Wednesday and watch our game. We have some great things going on here uh, for our match against BYU on Friday. First off, Chalk Talk with head coach Jesse Mahoney. Um, buffs wear black. And then it's family weekend here in Boulder. So DJ Ricky will be here. Bring all your fam to our game. And then on Friday, we have even more things going on. Um, it's a Chips Kids Club match. So kids, come on out. It's also a gold crown match. And there'll be post-match autographs. So everyone, make sure to come on out and get some autographs from your favorite team. Hey, Buff fans. I'm Sydney Jordan, and I'm here with Annie Rising. Annie, tell us something a little about yourself. Hi, I'm Annie. I'm a sophomore outside hitter from Pasadena, California. So Annie, how did you first get into volleyball? I got into volleyball because I originally first played tennis, but I didn't like how solo it was, and I wanted to find a sport where there's a lot more team aspects, and I chose volleyball and been hooked ever since. Yeah. When did you start volleyball? Um, when I was 11 or 12. Yeah, I feel like that's normally kind of like the age that we all yeah. started. Like so, We just started this sport so young, it's crazy that we're still in it. Like Some of us are about to turn 20. Who is someone that you look up to in the volleyball world? Um, definitely Madison Skinner. She's just such an impressive player, so powerful and really fun to watch. Yeah, she's amazing. She's at Texas, for anyone who doesn't know. She's an outside of Texas, and um, she is amazing. So go her. <laughs> so what sport would you play if you didn't play volleyball? Yeah, I definitely play tennis. I feel like it's a fun sport. Doubles tennis, though. Um, yeah, it gets competitive, and I feel like you can play tennis for a long time. So, yeah. That makes sense. Fun fact, Annie is really good at pickleball. Mm -hmm. Annie, we played pickleball as a team bonding one time, and Annie absolutely destroyed us. Yeah, love pickleball, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your pregame hype song? Hmm, it's definitely something by Glowrilla. Probably, yeah, Glow. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. That's a great song. Do you have any volleyball superstitions? Um, the only thing that I do is I love wearing like a ribbon and I've done that for years. So yeah, your ribbon that. is super cute. I oh, love the vibe. Thank you. Gold <laughs> ribbon. So cute. Yes. So what are some personal goals that you have for yourself this season? Um, probably just increasing like my serve receive numbers and working on improving that definitely is a big goal. That's a great goal. It's hard. Yeah. Serve receive is hard. So yeah, always trying to get better. Mm -hmm. Well, Annie, thanks for being with us. We love having you on the show. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. <laughs> this was This Week in Colorado Volleyball. Thanks for tuning in today. Make sure to come out to our match versus West Virginia on October 23rd. And then BYU on October 25th. And both matches will be on ESPN+. Plus. So if you can't make it, stream on that. And that's it. Go Buffs! Go Buffs!